Hello, and thanks for checking out this video about inspections. Just like with the permit process, required inspections can vary widely from one municipality to the next. And also like permits, your local Tough Shed permit rep can help you navigate this process. It's important to understand that Tough Shed and our customers play important roles with inspections. Building departments drive the inspection process. And while these are designed to protect our customers, the delays that inspections can cause are a common customer complaint. Your Tough Shed permit rep can help you understand more specifically how inspections might affect the timing of your project and give you some tips on how to help keep things moving as smoothly and quickly as possible. We'll start this video by outlining customer responsibilities relating to all inspections. Then we'll cover the different categories and types of inspections and provide general guidelines of when different inspections are required. Finally, we'll review our inspection checklist, which will be sent to you by your Tough Shed permit rep with details specific to your project. As the property owner, the customer has some responsibilities when it comes to inspections. When Tough Shed has obtained permits for the customer, we will be ordering any required inspections and we'll be communicating to the customer when inspections are scheduled. When the customer chooses to obtain their own permits, then they need to order the required inspections as well. In either case, you will need to provide access to the building. Leave gates to the yard unlocked, ensure that no animals are left in the yard during inspection, and if you won't be home, you'll need to post a note granting the inspector permission to enter the property. Secondly, you'll need to ensure that the building placement matches the site plan and any other documentation in the permit application. Please don't ask the installer to change the location or the orientation of the building on installation day. This could result in a failed inspection. Next, please make sure that the building is unlocked on inspection day, as some inspections require the inspector to look inside the building. You'll also want to know if your required inspection allows for you to have items already stored inside the building or not. Your permit placard must be posted inside a window of the home, visible from the tough shed structure, so that the inspector can easily see the placard from outside of the house. The permitting paperwork needs to be attached to the tough shed building and accessible by the inspector. All approved documents relating to the permit application and building design should be included in the packet for inspector review. Your tough shed permit rep can tell if your permit should be posted on the inside of an unlocked building or on the outside of your building. Once your building has passed inspection, sign the electronic ICA form and submit it to Tough Shed. You will receive an email with a link to the form, which you can sign via your computer or cell phone. If there's a problem with the inspection, please contact your Tough Shed permit rep immediately. Let's look at some typical kinds of inspections. The most common type is called a basic zoning inspection. During the basic zoning inspection, a local building inspector verifies that the building placement matches what is shown on the permit paperwork. The inspector is likely to review building placement and orientation, as well as building size, height, and distance from property lines and other structures. While the customer will still need to allow the inspector access to the installation site during a basic zoning inspection, sometimes the inspector won't even need to go into the customer's yard to conduct this inspection. Another common inspection type is the final inspection. This type of building inspection is generally much more detailed and includes all of the elements of a basic zoning inspection, plus a review of the construction elements of the building, such as framing, rafters and trusses, shingles, and more. During a final inspection, the building inspector will likely review the building plans on file and the documents posted to your building. Like with all inspections, a final inspection can vary in level of detail from one municipality to the next. And just like with a basic zoning inspection, once your building passes the final inspection, sign off on the electronic ICA form and submit it to Tough Shed. If your building does not pass inspection for whatever reason, contact your Tough Shed representative to determine the necessary next steps. Usually, when buildings fail inspections, it's due to the inspector wanting to see more detailed paperwork, such as a localized engineering specification. Multi-step inspections generally require the installers to stop working until the building official has signed off on that particular element of the building construction. Because of this, buildings requiring multi-step inspections take longer to complete. Sometimes this can mean that the building components are exposed to weather while we wait to schedule a return visit by our authorized installers. 
Not to worry, this is the same procedure that home builders have to follow. The materials used for the inside of your tough shed building are designed to withstand short-term exposure to weather. It's important to be in communication with your tough shed representative during this process so that we can order the various inspections along the way. It's also important that the customer installation site remains accessible for the building officials for these ongoing inspections. Limiting site access or storing items inside the building while waiting on inspections can result in additional delays on completing your building. Toughshed has created a checklist to help customers understand which inspections will be needed for their building. Your Toughshed rep will provide you with this document and assist you through the inspection process. Thank you for taking the time to review this video. For more information, check out our Tough Shed Buyer's Guide online or contact your local Tough Shed permit rep.